Hello and welcome to the Creative Cobold. I'm Gaira. Today I want to just talk a bit while I show off the miniatures I painted in December. First off, Happy New Year! I hope everyone has uh, had a nice holiday, hopefully with some hobby time. I know I did and the result of that is what you're seeing right now. I managed to paint up a total of 117 miniatures in December. This is definitely the highest amount of miniatures I've ever painted in a month, though the actual time was more like two weeks. I didn't paint anything in December until the 9th, and then the entire week before Christmas I had to, well, prepare for Christmas. In the days after I was able to get in a couple more days of painting, however. So, 117 miniatures over a span of roughly 14 days spread out through December. Which all brings me to the topics of today's video. Batch painting miniatures, reducing that backlog, and having more minis ready for play. Hopefully you can clearly see the paint jobs for these miniatures. Are these the best paint jobs in the world? Not by a long shot. Are these highly detailed sculpts? No, aside for a few they're quite simple sculpts. Do they work well for using games? I'd say they're a hundred times better than using unpainted minis. At times it felt like boring work, other times it was zen. But getting so much done and finishing so many miniatures also came with the rush of accomplishment which made things fun. And from time to time there were paint jobs that were just outright fun to do as well, even in their simplicity. And yes, I am proud. Perhaps not so much of the paint jobs themselves, but proud of accomplishing what I did. If you're like me, then you enjoy using miniatures in your D&D or Pathfinder games. And you probably have a huge backlog of unpainted miniatures, just waiting for the day they'll be painted so they can be used in your games. That backlog is ever expanding with new fantastic miniatures that needs to be painted. The pile of shame, as it's lovingly nicknamed in our hobby. It's always a bit sad not having the miniatures you need for a game ready for play. This can turn into stressful painting the day before the session, making you not able to focus on the stuff you need to as a DM. Or you might use that unpainted mini that clashes against all the others in play and that nice terrain you've set up, and that might be an annoyance in itself. To me, it definitely would be. Or you might end up just doing a different encounter than what you had planned using some creatures you already have painted miniatures for. That's, uh, that's a loss in my book. So what exactly did I achieve by painting over 100 miniatures with relatively clean yet mostly okay paint jobs in December? Well, I made a good dent in my backlog. Without really having a good overview, that was probably between 5 and 10% of my unpainted miniatures my pile of shame has diminished significantly. But I also have over a hundred new minis that are ready for use. Now I can just go over to my boxes and pick these out whenever I need to prepare for a session. No more stressful painting the day before the game. Well, at least not for these creatures. I'm sure I'll end up in that situation again someday. But perhaps this is also a learning experience that I can get a lot of things done in a very short time, and that'll save me time later. My backlog has shrunk significantly, and my ready-to-use minis have increased equally. It's good to have a backlog of miniatures though. It's nice to be able to go through them once in a while and pick out a few miniatures you want to enjoy painting, or find that one miniature that you can paint up for that specific NPC you need that day. But it's also good having miniatures ready for use in your games. I'll share some of my painting tips for getting through a lot of miniatures. This isn't my first time 
batch painting, but it's definitely my first time getting this much done in this little time. And maybe this is self-explanatory to a lot of you, but to others it might not be. So let's get started. First step, find miniatures that you can batch paint. Multiple minis of the same or similar type of creature are good. It generally doesn't matter if they're from different manufacturers. A fire elemental by Reaper is probably going to be painted up with the same colors and technique as a fire elemental by Blacklist. Here are three different sculpts of werewolves that were all painted in the same batch. Like almost all of the minis I painted in December, these are from Blacklist. Some from their Fantasy Series 1 set and some from their Alter Quest board game. Tip number 2. Set them up next to each other and paint them the same way. This includes priming the actual painting and sealing. Of course it's possible to do parts of these differently. For example maybe you prime one miniature grey and another clear but then dry brush both of them with a white color. Or perhaps you'll want to seal one set of minis matte and another set of minis clear. Being able to use one brush and one color on many miniatures in a row makes everything go real fast. Tip number three. Don't paint one miniature at a time, paint one color at a time. Take the werewolves for example. They're prime black, then I painted their front bodies with grey and dry brushed the rest of them with the same grey. And I did this for every one of them before I moved on to a different color. Switching between colors or brushes takes a lot of time. This really is a big time saver. Final tip, lower your standards. It's good to have high standards for your paint jobs. It's good to push your painting skills to the limit and improve. But if you want to get things done, if you want to have those game pieces ready for the table, you'll sometimes need to lower your standards a bit. Maybe those two pieces of leather can be the same color. Maybe it's that paint that got a tenth of a millimeter outside where it should be doesn't have to be corrected. Maybe the werewolf's eyes don't need to be so detailed you can make out eye whites, iris and pupils. Perhaps a dot of yellow is enough. It's very easy to slip back into wanting to do every little detail right. But sometimes it's good to let go. And managing your own expectations can be a valuable lesson in itself. I'm far from a professional miniature painter. But I know I can do a lot better than any of these. Sometimes you just need to get things done though. I want to be able to use my miniatures in the game and not just as grey blobs of plastic. Not every miniature needs to be a masterpiece paint job. Sometimes the value of getting to use the miniature outweighs the value of a higher quality paint job. Leave the heavy paint jobs for the player characters, big dragons or important NPCs. And if I ever feel that these aren't painted well enough, well, if that time comes I can always improve on these paint jobs or even repaint them if necessary. There really is nothing lost here. So I hope this video inspires you to make a dent in your backlog. Find a bunch of minis you can batch paint. Get them ready for play. I've been wanting to make some different content for a while now, and this is the start of that. There are lots of content I want to make, some of it quite different from what I'm used to making. It'll all stay miniatures related of course. So I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next video.